In the last eight years, the ADD Resource Center reported a 42% increase of children being diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. While it does pose a challenge for families, it can also bring them joy. Tonight, in part three of a special report, News 13's Jessica Ayers tells us how ADHD kids often make others smile. Experts believe the genius Albert Einstein had the disorder. If this is true, it proves that one can still have ADHD and be very successful in life. They can be bright. They can be creative. Dr. Christopher Sarampoti is the program officer at the National Institute for Mental Health. He says children with ADHD have some major strengths. People get distracted, if you will, um, by the troubles that kids are having. And they forget that these kids are really funny. Um, they're uh, just really need to be around. I have personal experience with the disorder because my son was diagnosed when he was four. He could talk in full sentences before he could walk and recite an entire Dr. Seuss book before he could hold a fork. His brain was advanced in some areas, yet lacking in others. When I do have something that I'm really interested in, I hyper-focus on it. 43-year-old John Clonch is a dad of two and was diagnosed with ADHD when he was five. He says as a real estate agent, it works in his favor. Seeing somebody get emotionally involved in, in the purchase of a home, like to me, that's something that I can really kind of dig into and get, be a part of. Rita Olick, ADHD mom of four, says her seven-year-old twins also grabbed the creative gene. Their personalities are starting to come out. Um, they love music. They love to sing. ADHD is still a relatively new disorder, which leads to a lot of misconception. People think that they are bad kids or that these are kids that aren't trying hard enough. I was obviously not as well behaved as other kids. And the thing about it is teachers back then didn't really know anything about ADHD. So they just assumed I was just a bad kid. They get a lot of negative messages early on. Sometimes kids can internalize that message. Maybe they start taking on some of those attributes that are being thrust upon them because they believe it to be true about themselves. Sarah Pody says positive feedback for ADHD kids is like gold and to praise them twice as much as you punish them. Good job. Note those strengths, note the really positive things they're doing and to let them know about it and, and to remind them that, yeah, um, you have incredible superpowers. You are incredibly creative. You are uh, a joy. They like that phrase. Um, they appreciate it a little bit more, I think. As an ADHD mom, I've started complimenting my son for doing the little things, the things that non-ADHD kids do without question. And so far, it seems to be working. Pretty Children are trying really hard. Uh, and these kids really want to please. It's just that they need extra help getting there. My son is young, and I know that some of our toughest years are still to come. But I try to remind myself that every parenting journey is unique. Some of us are raising fish, while others are raising birds. And you would never expect a fish to fly. In Panama City, Jessica Ayers, News 13, Panhandle Strong. I can't stop eating. Now